Welcome to Oracle R12 installation uh, video. Uh, here we will be talking about uh, uh, installation of R12. Uh, I have uh, divided this video into two parts. Uh, in because actually because of time limitation of YouTube free videos, it's ten minutes. So basically, I divided into two parts. Um, so why, why, uh, basically, the reason for uh, R12 installation for all of us is uh, because. Uh, the new versions of Oracle ERP that comes out, it's very difficult to, uh, you know, um, try out uh, or have a hands-on in uh, the new versions. So it's really available accessibility problem, and if you are an independent, it's very difficult to get access to the new uh, versions. So that's the the uh, the reason behind uh, having your own installation, wherein you can go and play around, uh, learn R12, and uh, learn the new features and what not so that's the reason uh, uh, I, I installed uh, R2L actually and that's what I am going to share with you uh, what are the steps behind uh, installation of R2L and uh, different uh, suggestions so very suggestions that uh, I came across while installation uh, R2L installation of R2L um, so if for first actually uh, these are the these are the different uh, parts that I am going to discuss in this video of uh, in first actually I would be describing the prerequisites and steps uh, for installations uh, uh, like installation of uh, virtual uh, VMware actually virtual uh, machine then installing uh, Oracle Enterprise Linux uh, because you would be using Linux uh, as the operating system um, then we would be installing Oracle R12 and then uh, we, I would show you the post installation steps uh, for accessing the R12 instance and then at the end uh, I'll share uh, the, the various resources where you get help for installation of R12 so let's get started um, so the prerequisites for Oracle R12 installation is you have to have a uh, a machine or Windows machine because I have used a Windows machine uh, Windows 7 machine um, the recommended uh, size for Oracle R12 vision instance is uh, somewhere around 180 GB uh, but actually I have used 300 GB because of uh, the creation of staging area and the zip files that you download uh, so for that you need some extra space uh, because of that I have kept 300 GB free disk space although if you have a 200 GB that's also you can install Oracle R12 uh, but uh, the only um, problem you would have with 200 GB is you, you need some extra space for unzipping the files and all that you can uh, do that with a <coughs> with a external hard disk you need to have uh, the recommended is uh, uh, 2 to 3 GB but I have kept 4 GB of memory so that you know uh, I get a better performance uh, for from Oracle R2 installation and uh, Core 2 Duo CPU that's uh, the nowadays the standard one and this would be our host machine okay we'll call it as a host machine next uh, after once you have the prerequisites uh, we'll download a virtual machine uh, in our host machine basically that's this would be our uh, guest environment so for that uh, you can uh, download a VM uh, a virtual machine from VMware there are other vendors also but I have used uh, VMware uh, for that you can uh, uh, simply Google VM player download I'll show you how to where to go and how to download and installation of VMware so and then next next step is VM player so let's uh, see how it is uh, VM player is installed um, I'll go to uh, <coughs> I'll go to Google and I'll say VM player dot VM player download and we'll download VM player 3.1.1 and you can say download and you have to fill up all these names and uh, just uh, register there in VMware and you can then download the VM player 3.1.0 the latest version and once you download then uh, you install that and I'll show you what I have installed so I have installed this software installation you see this icon click double click on this this is your VM player this is your virtual machine environment and uh, 
that's how you open here you will uh, install your Oracle Enterprise Linux uh, that's your operating system for uh, guest machine so next step in our uh, uh, R2L installation is to install Oracle Enterprise Linux so for that you go to edelivery.oracle.com to install the latest version of uh, Oracle Enterprise Linux I have used uh, uh, OEL 5.5 .5, so I went to edelivery.org.com and uh, I choose 32-bit uh, uh, although you can choose 64-bit as well uh, because Windows 7 uh, uh, does come with 64-bit uh, 64 64-bit OS version so you can go with that version also but I have used 32-bit source code is not required while you download uh, from edelivery.org.com for OEL 5.5 .5. so let's see how to download way to the source of this for that, uh, have, I'll go to edelivery.oracle.com, and then uh, so basically you have to uh, register yourself like you did in VMware. So, and then once you, uh, so once you register yourself, and then uh, here you go, you choose Oracle Linux and uh, the uh, different version of which which version you need like 32 bit or 64 bit I have used 32 bit so I'll use 32 bit and uh, <coughs> the, the latest version is 5.5 .5. I'll choose 5.5 .5. and download all this uh, these these five uh, files actually um, you don't need the source code so you don't bother about that download these five files these would be dot uh, uh, ISO files once you download that the next step is to install OEL on your uh, guest machine. So that's your uh, the the enterprise that's a, the platform for your Oracle R2. Now, recommended configuration for OEL VM is uh, memory. Is, you know, I have I have used 3 GB and uh, disk space as 300 GB. And uh, once you install that, the prerequisite apply all the prerequisite uh, OS level patches as per the MetaLink following MetaLink note ID. So I'll show you that. Uh, so let's see how to do, how to download and install. So I showed you the, the download. You download them, and then uh, to your virtual machine. So I'll go here, here. Then uh, you say create new virtual machine, and here you have to give the ISO files that you downloaded for OEL. So here you can uh, choose the download file ISO files and uh, follow through, go through the visa detail, prompt you uh, the different files and the other various steps. It's self-explanatory, so I'll not go through that. So I'll show you once it is downloaded. You will see I you name it as uh, I have named it as Oracle Enterprise Linux. You can name it anything. So once you download that, you open uh, the in the in the guest machine your uh, your OEL Enterprise Linux. So for that, I'll here I'll open that. So this is uh, my Linux or Inter Oracle Enterprise Linux. So I'll just say login. So this is uh, OEL 5.5, .5 and next is uh, we'll go through installation of R12. Before we install R12, actually we have to create the staging area for your Oracle R2 installation because all the download files that you download from udelivery.oracle.com uh, needs to be unzipped and you create the staging area and then you uh, run the rapid wizard of for installation of R2 and for that I'll go I'll show you uh, what is the directory structure that you need to create for staging area so this is the directory structure that you should create uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to create the staging area, and I'll uh, we'll see a hands-on in staging creation of staging area, and then subsequently installing R12. Thanks for watching. Continue watching the next video.